Okay, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our final uh, virtual open day of the academic year. Um, and I'm going to uh, hand you over to the principal of our sixth form colleges at Strodes and Windsor, Amanda Down. Welcome, Amanda, if you'd like to start the presentation. Thank you, Fiona. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to, as Fiona has said, the open evening event for Windsor College's sixth form provision. My name's Amanda Dan, and I'm the principal for the sixth form colleges of Strodes and Windsor, and I oversee the provision here. I'm joined this evening by Fiona Carthy, by my deputy Karen Griffiths, who will be online to help answer any questions that you have, and by two of our students from Windsor College, Mohammed and Ursula, who you will be hearing from shortly. I'm really delighted to welcome you this evening and to talk a little bit about the provision of Windsor College. We are delighted to welcome our students in. We are a specialist sixth form college providing that unique experience to students that only a sixth form college can. Part of that is based on our expertise and our knowledge and understanding not only of our subjects but also of our students on what it needs, they need, and what it takes for them to be successful. Sixth form education is really unique. It's actually the shortest period of time that a student will spend in any one part of their education. And yet it is the most fundamentally important to their progression, to their future. Windsor College is an incredibly special and vibrant place to be a part of. We offer over 25 different A-levels, and a range of level three vocational DTEC courses and a level two pathway programme that for those students who don't quite meet our entry criteria for level three can undertake for a foundation year to allow them to progress on. At Sixth Form College, the range of subjects that we offer enables us to provide everything that students might be looking for include mix and match programmes that allow them to combine vocational courses alongside traditional A-levels. Our facilities and resources are specifically geared towards the needs of the form and our students. As I said, we know what it takes for our students to be successful and that's what we're working towards. We're incredibly proud of the successes that we are gaining year on year, including our almost 100% pass rate last year, 99.8% isn't bad, and our 100% BTEC pass rate. Our high grades continue to increase and our student successes grow. In 2019, we had our most recent Ofsted inspection and we were delighted at the outcome from that. But that's only part of our story. We understand part of the sixth form that the most important part for our students is the transition from school to school and that progression is something that often recognized we understand that part of that transition is making the gap and bridging that gap between being a very dependent learner to being far more independent taking responsibility for your own learning learning those skills that are going to help you to move on to your next destination, whatever that may be, whether that's university, a higher apprenticeship, or even into the workplace. And all of those things are things that we specialise in. As I said, in 2019, we had our last offset inspection and we're delighted at the outcome. It cemented everything that we already knew, that what we are providing our students is good that the teaching and learning is good, that the support for our students is good. We enable students to progress on because we understand exactly what it is that they need. And we are able to provide that very dedicated and very specialized support. Our strength lies in the fact that we are specialists. Our staff are ambitious, energetic, and enthusiastic and passionate for our students. We believe that every single one of our students can go on to be successful, can achieve their ambitions. And we are here to help guide them and to help them achieve those ambitions. We've already talked about our pass rate and here at Windsor College, our pass rate was 100% last year. Sixth form colleges as a whole, like 99.8, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 99.9, 
but 100% here at Windsor. And I've always spoken about our high grades and that increasing level of high grades for our students. We know, however, that our exam results are only part of the puzzle. It's about everything else that we put into it. It is about the dedicated support because we understand that achieving grades are only part of what helps you to go on to achieve your desired outcomes. On the screen in front of you are some of the amazing university destinations that our students have gone on to. And we're incredibly proud of every single one of them and of what they achieve. But we understand and we know that it is about the individualised support that we see from their subject staff and from the personal tutors. It's our dedicated career service. It's our specialised student services support that provides that wraparound holistic care for every single one of our students. Windsor College is a relatively small university, small, sorry, sitcom college, I said university then, but we are dedicated to our students and we know exactly what it needs for them to be successful. And part of that is providing pathways on. Not only do we offer level two and level three courses, we also offer a range of level four courses for our students, including some really successful courses in the creative arts, including art and design, creative media, and performing arts. We are incredibly proud of how successful these courses are coming. And they offer our students a different pathway through for those who aren't quite ready to leave us at the end of their second year of study. I've already talked about the fact that half success is your grade, but there's this huge bit like an iceberg sitting underneath that will help you be successful. Part of that is working in partnership. We believe that every single member of our college is a member of our community, our students, our staff, our parents and work together for our students' success is what we aim to do. Our students are our priority. We aim to deliver excellence because that's what our students deserve. We are committed to ensuring that every single one of them is successful. For those of you embarking on a programme at Sixth Form College, it's going to look a little different to your school. Your programme of study is made up of only three key subjects quite different from the eight or ten that you may very well be studying at the moment. I can guarantee that something in there that you are desperate to get rid of or wondering why on earth you chose that as one of your GCSE options. So it's really important that embarking on your next stage of your education, you think really carefully about what it is that you want to do. Think really carefully about the subjects that you are interested in and about what is going to make up core of your programme. For every hour that you do in the classroom, there will be an hour outside of the classroom. And it is that move to more independent learning and more independent work that bridges the gap between school and university, further study, higher apprenticeship, or even indeed world of work, where there is more responsibility for you to take on. Our entry criteria, quite straightforward. Five or more GCSEs at grade four or above enables you to look at one of our A-level programmes. Please do check our website for more individual details about each of the courses, as you find that many of them have discrete entry criteria. Four or more GCSEs at grade four or above enables you to look at one of our vocational programmes, so the BTECs. And there are a range of extended diplomas to choose from at Windsor, including applied science, business studies, creative media, performing arts, and our two very successful art and design courses. Two distinct pathways to choose carefully. If you're not successful in gaining those four GCSEs, please don't worry. There are a number of options for you at level two, which, as I explained earlier, will give you a foundation year that will then enable you to progress on to further study at level three. So we offer a science pathway and we offer two discrete level two courses as well, a range of options for our students to look at. Key priorities are English and maths. They're always going to be. 
My advice is to work as hard as you can to ensure you are securing that grade four, grade five in your English and maths. If you don't secure your grade four, I'm afraid you will have to resit them. I promise you it's not me being vindictive or unkind. It is a government requirement. So it's really important that you work hard to secure those now. All of our eight subjects, as I'm sure you are aware, are two year linear courses. So whatever you embark on, you're embarking on that for two years. Level three BTEC courses have also changed. Many of those are also now two year linear courses and contain an externally assessed unit. They are still comprised of externally assessed and internally assessed components, but they are changing. So again, research your subjects, choose really carefully. The majority of our students will embark on a study program made up of three main courses. For those students achieving half or more of their GCSEs at grade seven or above, we will consider four subjects. But our advice to you is to think really carefully about that and to consider why you are choosing four subjects. Universities will only ever make their offers to you based on three good A-level grades or three good BTEC grades. And so therefore it's a case thinking about why you might want to do that. But the option is there for our highest achieving students. We also offer what's called the extended project qualification, which is a really good option for those students looking for something a little bit different, a bit more of a challenge, or something that will enable them to demonstrate skills, knowledge, interests that main programme study doesn't. The EPQ is a mini research project and can be undertaken either in your first year or your second year. It carries UCAS points because it is worth half an A-level or an AS and can be very much an individualised programme. So you can choose whatever you want to. So if your interest is in Gothic literature and you fancy having a go at writing your own mini Gothic story, this for you. If you're interested in researching and producing some work to do with upcycling, or whether you want to investigate whether fish really do have feelings, apparently they don't, then this is something for you to consider. Key component of every programme of study will be an industry placement or work experience. It's really important for all of our students that their programme of study is providing a holistic overview. It isn't just about your courses and your grades. And although those are incredibly important, as we've already said, it is about the other components that make up your programme of study. And so for each and every one of our new first year students, they will be undertaken an industry placement in their first year. For our A-level students and our mixed program students, that will be a set week. For our extended diploma students, that will be part of your course, and so will be at different parts of the year. The most important part of all of this is for our students to have some good long think about all of those key questions. Because choosing your level three subjects, your programme study, your next port of call on is really important. So think about what it is that you want to do in the future. Are there key subjects that you're going to need in order to get you to that point? This is a stepping stone, remember. Think about what you enjoy and what you're really good at. Being passionate about something, really being enthusiastic about it, is half key to being successful. It's what's going to motivate you on a cold, dark January morning? I would say it's a little bit sunnier today, but actually here in, it's not. But hopefully you get my gist. It's about being committed. It's about being keen enough so that you don't give up, that you persevere when the challenge is hit. Please don't choose something because your best friend is doing it. It's never a good idea. Please don't choose something because it sounds different or you think it's going to be easy. Spend time really thinking about the different subjects and what they're going to be asking you to do. Do visit our website and have a look at the information on each of our subjects. 
have a look at the kinds of work that you might be able to do that's available for you to look at on our year 10 and our year 11 pages. Please speak to as many people as you can. Current students, current teachers, your parents, they will give you good advice about what you're really good at, what you're not so good at, where do your skills lie, and they'll be able to give you some good advice about what those subjects you're looking at really entail. What it's really going to mean to be studying A-level psychology or criminology or applied science. Think about whether the subjects you're choosing work well together. Have you got a coherent programme of study? If you've got a clear career plan in mind, that might make things easier. But please don't worry if you do. Most people at 16 don't. So this is really important in terms of your subject choices and keeping your options open. But again, coming back to what you're good at and what you're really interested in. Part of this is about the support that is on offer to you. You will have support from your subject teachers who will be able to give you one-to-one -one advice and guidance, feedback on mark work, but most importantly, to help you when you are struggling. Each of our students is assigned to a tutorial group and will have a dedicated personal tutor who will be there to guide them through their two years of study with us, or three if you're embarking on a level two programme first of all, and will be there to act as a guide through the various stages of your programme, including helping you with your progression and your next steps. Our learning support team on hand to provide help, advice and guidance for any student who may need it. We have a special careers team who, again, are here to provide one-to-one -one sessions and group sessions for those people who are looking for more specialist career advice, next steps, guidance, ideas about what might be out there, flag up opportunities, and we have a regular careers update that is published to students with opportunities for them to look at. We have a range of workshops throughout the time that you will be with us. Some of those will be run by the student union, some of those will be run by staff, some of those will be run by our student services team. But again, they are there to offer you a range of advice and guidance on things that are particularly of interest to you. Student finance is often a very popular one. What it means to go out into the world, the things you are going to have to admit. And of course, there are the various events that will take in place throughout the time that you're with us. Unfortunately, over the last 18 months, many of our events have been curtailed by the COVID restrictions, but we're really hoping that from September we will be back up and running and have been planning a number of welcome events for our new students. So we really hope that those will be up and running for you to enjoy. Alongside of those, a range of opportunities on offer to our students. So whether you're interested in sports, performing arts, the various trips and visits that go on to complement your studies, there is hopefully something there for everybody. Our aim is to support our students throughout their time with us. As part of that, we encourage them to take a bigger role in the wider community, to get involved with as much as they possibly can. And we, one key part of that is our student union elective. And at this point, I'm going to pause and invite Ursula and Mohammed, who are my two student representatives today, to say a little bit about their experience as students at Windsor College, please. Who would you like to go first, Amanda? Oh, well, Mohammed has come on screen, so I think we're going to go with Mohammed first, please. Okay. Hello, my name Hi. is Mohammed. My name is Mohammed Gedi and I've, I'm a first year at Windsor College. I study politics, criminology and business. And my time at Windsor has been a wonderful one. I've met so many good friends and even though we couldn't have as much of a, like, a community with events and a lot of planning, it was the best that I've had in a while like um, in a while because the people were very opening and very understanding and uh, we all just got along fantastic thank you Mohammed. ursula can i 
invite Matt Ursula to join us. Oh, hi Ursula. <laughs> Sorry, hi. Uh, my name is Ursula Pusisi and I'm a first year student at Windsor College. Um, and my experience at Windsor College has been great actually, because I was so scared. It was my first call here, but it was so great. And I guess what I liked about Windsor College is that the kind of support I got from the teachers, how they guided us, and sometimes they would just give us feedback on how to improve ourselves for the kind of career I'm looking for. And they just, they were just patient. They were just there for us, even though we went through uh, COVID. COVID was very hard. We spent four months in lockdown, but they were very supportive. And we had one-to-one -one with teachers and they just gave us the kind of support that I was looking for, that I was hoping to get. And I chose Windsor College because um, firstly, my aunt studied there for an English course and because I got reviews that it was the best actually. So I was really interested to study there. And I, I, I am a first year student. I was doing biology, chemistry, physics, English and math, which was really great. And I just want to tell you, if you want to do that, you have to study really, really hard. You have to put effort in everything you do. And my future career is I want to do law. Uh, when I finish my A-levels, I want to do law. And that's it, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ursula. Thank you, both of you. Really great to hear from our students. And really nice to know that you're doing so well, both of you. I think I've got a future lawyer. I'm not quite sure what Mohammed's plans are for the future, but um, politics, potentially the next Prime Minister Mohammed, maybe? Who knows? Um, we have what we call guaranteed applicant status for the students applying to us. It simply means that you are one of the schools that we guarantee applicant status to and me we will prioritize your application and guarantee you an interview as soon as possible please don't be put off if your school is not on the list in front of you i promise you we will process every single application that we receive as quickly as we possibly can we spend a lot of our time interviewing students it's been a challenge with things that we haven't been able to do face to face but nevertheless, we absolutely make sure that we prioritise our students and that we speak to every single one of them. And those conversations right from the very beginning are key to ensuring our students' success, because those are the conversations where we talk about their future aspirations and their programme of study. Sometimes that's about saying, have you thought about this? When students come to us after application, in view, hopefully there is then an offer. At the point of offer, there's hopefully an acceptance, and then that leads to enrolment. And enrolment is another opportunity for our students to discuss their programme study, to talk about their GCSE results, and again to really consider what it means to be part of Windsor College. I really hope that you will join us here at Windsor College. We are a thriving, dynamic sitcom college. We offer specialist support and specialist education because we are specialist providers. We know what it needs to be successful at this sixth form stage. And as I said, it's a really key and important part. But more than that, we are about being a community. Every single one of our students is an individual and they are part of our community. And we really value our students and our sixth form community. Happy to take any questions that might be out there. Thanks, Amanda. That was fantastic. Um, we've just had a question come in about the applications, um, about when yeah. you have to apply. Uh, I think that's quite an important okay. one for you to know about, and also perhaps what it will is. happen during the summer. Okay, so um, applications for September 2021 are still open. We are still taking um, students, but please get those applications into us as soon as possible because many of our courses are filling up. So um, what we can't do is guarantee places on some of our subjects if you are a late applicant. So please, if you are still thinking about applying to Windsor College, please do get those applications in as soon as possible. Applications for September 2022 will open on the 5th of July. So if you are a current year 10 student and you are looking at applications for September 2022, which feels a 
very long time. Um, those applications will open on the 5th of July. Okay, that's great, thank you. Um, and how are we doing uh, conducting interviews and things at the moment? So interviews at the moment have been um, by telephone. We haven't done any interviews in terms of those people applying to by face to face. Um, they are by telephone and they've been really quite successful because it's meant that students haven't necessarily had to travel into the school. We are offering an opportunity for students to come and join us for a tour and those tours are taking place on the 28th, the 29th and the 30th of June and there will be a late, some late tour dates offered at the beginning of July for any late applicants or for anybody who hasn't yet managed to book onto the tour. So that will be there for those students. Um, as far as enrolment is concerned, um, those interviews will be done face to face and students will be invited to an enrolment interview closer to the point of those enrolments. But our enrolments will start in the week beginning the 16th of August. Great, thank you. And what happens, somebody's just asked, that what happens if I start a course but want to change after the first couple of weeks? Okay, so there are a couple opportunities in the first half term for course changes. Um, you have an opportunity to put in an application for a course change, and that then goes by the vice principal who will be looking at those and obviously overseeing any course changes that take place. So yes, there are there are a couple opportunities in the first half term to make some changes. But again, we would say think really carefully and go have conversations with people before you make those changes. So don't just do it because you think, well, oh, this is this is too hard, I'll do something else. Do go and have those conversations so that you really understand what it is that you are taking and changing into. Great, thank you. I know you've given so much information about all the detail of what happens at Windsor, but what would you say sums up the kind of Windsor College atmosphere and what it's like to really study there? Um, I think I'm going to pick on something that both Mohammed and Ursula um, referred to, and that's the friendliness, actually, and how welcoming it is as sick form college. I think we, we, as I've said, we are a community. Um, Winter College is quite unique in that we are, we are one building, so we're quite contained. But actually, that's, that's part of its, its appeal, in that it, it is very much a community college. We're in the heart of Windsor. Uh, we're in a very vibrant part of Windsor. We've got lots of cafes around us. It's very busy. It's very buzzing. Um, and that's actually what helps Windsor College to be Windsor College. We are a sixth form provider. We have an adult community section that we work with and work alongside of us. But as a college, what makes us special, what makes us unique is, is that friendliness and is that specialism that we have. So the two combined together, I think makes us a really special place. Great, thank you. What about the enrichment activities? Do we do anything like the Duke of Edinburgh or, or even um, the, the Aspire um, programme? Yeah, so we have a number of enrichment activities that um, are up and running. Many of those are led by students. So we, we every year we encourage our students to start up their own groups that are then helped and supported. And again, that varies year to year from the students' interests. So one of the things that students are really keen on this year is environmental issues and trying to get some changes in terms of the types of bins we've got in our classrooms and do some work in our garden. So they've got their own kind of sort of ecology environmental group going. There are also a choir that we're, we're going and running, although slightly with COVID restrictions in place. And this year we are introducing our Aspire group, um, which is for our very, very high flyers. So these are our students who, for whom their GCSE profile is predominantly all sevens and above and are looking at Oxford, Cambridge, very top level Russell Group universities and those very top courses. It's a very spoke program um, and unique, quite rightly so, because those students are often looking at particular courses that require more than just a normal um, application to university. So often they will involve more detailed 
interviews, um, specific tests and exams that need to be sat, and a very specific type of application that needs to be made. So that will be up and run from this year. In addition, there are various other things that are offered in every single one of the subjects. We've had creative writing, we've had a college magazine in the past, um, we have our LGBTQ group, um, so a whole range of things that are on up and run. And obviously one of the things we're also hoping to have back up and running is a minibus to run uh, to bring students from Windsor over to Strokes to participate in some sporting activities that take place here. Great, thank you. Talking of minibuses, there's some um, messaging around a new service from Maidenhead. There is, yes. <laughs> so there is. We are looking to put on some transport, dedicated transport that will be running from Maidenhead to Windsor College. Um, I believe, Fiona, that there are three stops, if I that correct? I think I think the stops are all still being looked at, but multiple oh, stops okay. from yep. Okay. Yeah. So again, if you're interested in that, please do contact us. Um, we are gathering more information about that, but we are really aware that one of the key issues for students is often transport. Um, and coming to the Sixth Form College offers you that opportunity to engage with those really dynamic subjects that schools just can't offer. So things like film studies, um, the BTEC, sports science, criminology, um, health and social care, law, psychology, sociology, we offer English language as well as English literature. There is such a range to choose from philosophy. I could keep going forever. Um, mm -hmm. But any combination of subjects, you know, we're, we're pretty much able to meet everybody's needs. That's fantastic. And um, what about the dress code at college? Okay, so we don't have a set uniform, as lots of school sick forms I'm aware do. But what we do do is ask our students to be respectful of our community and to be considerate and mindful. So we ask them not to be wearing anything that might have um, a symbol or wording on it that might cause offence to somebody. And we ask them not to reveal too much flesh. Um, I know that sounds really odd, but in the summer, it's really important and consider some health and safety things. So um, sliders are quite popular with many of our students and really not appropriate footwear if you're going up and down lots of stairs. So much of what we have is just asking our students to be respectful of others and our community, to be mindful that, you know, what you are wearing might cause offence to somebody else. But pretty much to be dressing as you would do for a business environment. That's what we're asking students to do. So to dress smartly and to be considerate in what they're wearing. We don't have a set dress code. Great, thank you. Um, what about students that have had um, additional support at school, such as access arrangements and so on? What support do we provide? Okay. Absolutely. Um, so those students who have had access arrangements will be assessed to see whether they are entitled to access arrangements um, for the next stage of their education. And that will then go through. We've got a dedicated ALS team who work with our subject staff and with our party tutors to make sure that every student's individual needs are captured. Those students who've got specific uh, needs, an EHCP or particular individual need, can get in contact with our ALS department who will be able to have a one-to-one -one conversation with them about their particular concerns and needs. But we have a dedicated team, we have a specialist area and support is there and in place. Great, thank you. Um, and what, what are class sizes like at the college? Okay, so class sizes vary. Um, some of them are quite small because things like further maths, um, not lots of people want to do further maths. So some class sizes are much more on the smaller side, so below 10. The biggest is probably about 20. Great, thank you. Um, just looking at some other uh, questions that are coming in. Um, With things like the arts programs, because I know there's quite a lot of, you know, a big creative hub at Windsor, do st yeah. um, students need to bring a portfolio? Um, we ask students, normally that's discussed at interview. Um, if at interview somebody has asked you to bring along your portfolio to enrolment, 
then I would ask the students to bring it with them. It's never a bad idea because it allows you to show your work, but also for us to have conversations with you about the right art course for you. So whether that's going to be A-level photography, A-level graphics, or whether it's going to be one of our BTEC extended diplomas. So there is the, the retail window display merchandising course, um, interior design and then there is the kind of the slightly more I'm going to call it traditional art design route so there are the two different pathways that students can choose go down at um, vocational level and then there are the discrete A levels as well. Great okay thank you uh, another one that's just come in do students need a computer um, if they don't have their own laptop? Um, I'm going to say, generally speaking, no, we do have a laptop loan scheme. Um, what I would say is that it is, it's never a bad idea. We have a laptop loan scheme in place. Um, uh, the reason I'm pausing, I'm going to sort of backtrack a little bit. The reason I'm pausing is because obviously the last 18 months have been quite different. And we've had periods where we've had to do a lot of online learning, which has meant that, yes, students have needed to have access to a computer. Ordinarily, not necessarily. Um, there are computers students can access in the college, in the learning centre, um, and at different points around the college. If you find that you are in need of, of a laptop and you are in need of learning one for your particular subject, then you can contact our student services department and there is a laptop lease scheme in place that students can access. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Um, are students all back in lessons now or is it all, is, it, is there still oh, remote? Yes. Oh yes, 100% back. <laughs> oh yes, we're back face to face. Great, thank you. Um, and I think unless there's any more questions coming in from anybody, I think that's probably the end of that session. Um, Amanda, would you mind just moving the slide on just one more? Um, so this just reminds everybody what else is happening this evening. Um, so at 5.45 to 6.15, you can log back on um, to um, join the uh, student services talk and I've just popped the zoom link in the chat just in case you, you you don't have access to that immediately so please join that if you've got questions of our student support team who can talk about finance uh, tutorials uh, learning support all of the whole wraparound services that we offer uh, to our students um, but if you want to talk to the tutors they're live and online right now um, so you just pop over to our website and click on the chat box and all the tutors from all the subjects are there ready to talk to you if you've got any specific questions. So feel free to jump on to the website uh, windsor-forest.ac.uk and click on the chat and talk directly in a private one-to-one -one conversation. Uh, we've also got our admissions team online who are there if you've got any questions about your applications. Um, so in the meantime, I think we can wrap that up for today, Amanda, and, um, and then move on to the next stage. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. A huge thank you to our two students for joining us as well. I do hope you found this evening interesting. I look forward to meeting you all in the near future. Thanks very much, Amanda.